Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with God of War 4 on the PlayStation 4 Pro Challenging Mode. And right now, Bald Kratos and Mimir are in the depths of Helheim because over there is the Bridge Keeper. And we need to kill that son of a bitch so that we can steal his heart because we're a little bit evil. And we need to take it back to Freya because she's going to use it as an ingredient to cure Atreus. Now, if you don't know why Atreus is sick, it's because he got very angry at Modi because Modi was trying to kill Kratos and insulting his mother. So he got a little bit angry and went a little bit Spartan rage mode. And then he got very sick because obviously the problem with Atreus is he's got some internal conflict inside of him because he doesn't know he's a god. And that's why he's getting this sickness, you know, because Kratos hasn't told him he's a god and he's a god that believes himself to be a mortal. So it's causing loads of problems within his body, you know. So obviously Kratos is going to have to tell Atreus eventually that he's a god, you know. But that's for the future. Right now we need to take down this bridge keeper. Now um, there's a couple of things that he does. He, he's very similar to just a normal troll. He even looks like a troll, you know. And um, I think some of the things he does is he summons those annoying little uh, weird freaky undead thing that try and jump on your back. He summons those, so you have to watch out for them. He does a thing when he gets like, when he loses a certain percentage of health, he will teleport over to there near that bridge. And when he teleports to the bridge, he will um, start casting these waves of like undead crap at you. And you've got to sort of run around them until you reach him and then you've got to smack him, you know. If you don't smack him, he'll just keep constantly doing it, you know. So those are the two things you want to watch out for. And then you've got the usual just normal attacks that every troll troll sort of enemy does in this game. But yeah, let's... um, <sighs> I need to stop talking so much. Let's do this. Defeat the bridge keeper. Right, I better keep my Blades of Chaos out. I've got no idea if he uh, takes damage from my axe. So we're just going to keep using the Blades for now. I do like the range from the Blades. One thing I do like doing, though, this is a bit off topic, but I do like smacking these little uh, undead guys. <laughs> they just reappear again, look. Bloody hilarious. Look at them, poor guys. You know, they don't know what's going on. You know, they're walking along naked. Somehow they lost their clothes. Ten minutes ago they were dead, you know, probably. And now they're just wandering in the cold. I bet they're really confused. They've got some angry dude aiming a laser at them. You've got some dodgy crows staring at them really creepily, you know. That is, that's the bridge we're not supposed to cross, by the way, that Freya warned us about. Because if you cross this bridge, there's no coming back. So uh, that's something we need to remember as well. But yeah, sorry, let's, uh, let's, kill, the, um, let's kill this guy. Right, this uh, fight's all about the dodging. You don't really have a, a reason to. Uh, you won't really have much reason to um, use your shield in this because obviously, as he's a troll type enemy, oh, you have to watch out when he teleports because he leaves those bloody balls behind. Oh, there's a lot to watch out for. But as he's a troll enemy, most of his attacks are gonna um, just smash through your shield completely, you know? I'm probably going to die, but you do get checkpoints during this battle every time you get his health down by about a third. But one thing you can do when you're about to be hit if you've forgotten to dodge, quickly use your runic attack. God. I tell you, all the bosses in this game, I, mean, I know I'm nearly dead, so this is probably not a good time to say it, but all of the bosses feel so easy to me now that I've had a fight with the Valkyries. Because <laughs> the Valkyries are horrible. I'm dodging too early, that's the problem. There's plenty of health around here anyway in the jars. Ah, ah, I rolled into it. No. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Right, we're going to have to start this from the beginning. I need to, I need to, I need to dodge a bit better. Uh, you can block those icy crystals. And I think there's an upgrade you can get later on that will allow you to reflect them at him. But I don't think I've got that yet. I think that's a pretty late level upgrade. I mean, I might have it. I'm not sure. I just need to be careful when he uh, does his attacks. Because he leaves his balls behind. And that's what does a lot of damage to me. Quick, before he teleports. Try to set him on fire. Right, where is he? There he is. 
Dodge, dodge, dodge. If you're very quick, yeah, see, that's when you want to dodge. <laughs> like that, see. And then look at the amount of damage you get to do to him. Oh, I thought he was going to... Dodge? No, too soon again. God damn it, I always do this shit. Every video game in history. You know, I mean, normally you're too slow to dodge. Yeah, here we go, see. Once you get here, it's fine. Now you've got a chance to do some damage to him. I always do it in video games, you know. I know exactly what to do, which makes me dodge too soon. So knowing what to do isn't always a benefit. Dodge. Right, there we go, see. I've got to do it slower. I've got to relax a little bit and not be so speedy. I think he's gonna... Yeah, right. Now dodge the things on the floor, because he will keep doing it until you reach him. And I think when they hit you, it knocks you back a little bit. There we go. I know eventually he's going to start summoning those little enemies. I think it might be, yeah. You can sort of ignore them, you know. Just, just try to avoid them when they jump at you. Because they can get on your back. Wish I had some rage. Do your fucking runic attack. Jesus. Trying to get him to do his ruin attack. He wouldn't do it. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. The piggyback of death. Oh, crap. Right, I need to run around and get some health. Oh, crap. What was that? What's he doing? What's that all about? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's not going very well, is it? It's not going very well. This is why I said in the last video that I wanted to wait for the next video to do this fight, you know. Because uh, I would have been rushing a lot more and I would have died a lot more unnecessarily. But see what I mean? You do get checkpoints, though, so it's a lot easier. This is why I wanted to play on God of War mode, you know. Because I assume in God of War mode you don't get any checkpoints at all. So you won't be, you'll won't have to do a whole boss fight without dying. I mean, I could be wrong. I've not played it yet. They are very weak, though, so they do die really quickly. It's hard to watch my back. I can't watch every angle, Mamir. I mean, it's your job to watch my back. <laughs> the problem is when you kill him, he just brings out more. So, I mean, that's why it's just... You should just focus on him, you know? Oh, my... Oh, they make me so angry! They make me so angry! Oh, no, he's going to do that thing there. God, why don't we get ready for the slam? Slam. Okay. Now he's got balls everywhere. <laughs> that's, that's one thing you don't want. You don't want balls everywhere. I mean, some of you might, you know, if you swing that way. But I don't swing that way, so I definitely don't want balls everywhere. Oh, that's all right. Now, just start stamping on me. I'm trying to get a few cheeky hits while he's dodging, while he's uh, slamming. I shouldn't really do my quick shield, shield, shield before he teleports. Oh, when he summons enemies like that, actually, we might have got him down enough. I think we've got a checkpoint now, so he should be all right. He's going to teleport in a minute back over to the... Uh, yeah, get ready for it. I love it how he always pushes you back, so you have to do the entire run, you know? You can't, like, get yourself over there and prepare for it. He's going to... I don't know if he starts... Yeah, I think he might start summoning six now. I wish Kratos wouldn't take 20 years to pick up the health stones, because a lot of the time I die because of it. I'm so confused. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Quick, quick, quick. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge, dodge. Where is he? 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 <laughs> right, let's use my shield to get over there. See what I mean? Because I was using my runic attack, he didn't actually do any damage to me then. Right, we're on a nice amount of health again now. What's he doing? What's this all about? Is he trying to squeeze out a fart? He's trying to squeeze out a fart, mate, because that's a bit dirty, you know? I mean, I don't mind you doing some... Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, that's a new attack. Right, he's getting low on health now, so he's going to become a bit violent. He's going to try, try and squeeze farts on me and stuff. 
I think he might be finished with summoning those other enemies now, and if he is... Oh, no! If he's finished summoning those enemies, it'll be a bit easier. There he is, fart attack again. It literally is a fart attack. Or is he just shooting out more of those balls? I've got no idea. Watch out, watch out. Ready, ready, dodge. I mean, to be honest, I'm doing a lot better on YouTube than I did in my own playthrough. But obviously, when I did this on my own playthrough, it was my first time doing it. This is my second time doing it. Oh, damn it. That was a waste. Ah! Oh! Just gotta watch out for those balls and the ice. Watch out! Ah, oh, no, 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 please, no! No, 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 the balls. Balls everywhere. I really need some form of health. No! No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die, guarantee. Oh no, don't start doing this. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked, Wolf Morphets. I can never dodge these. Oh, he's brought out his friends again. You see how he went to... Oh, no, no. I'll be full health now anyway, so, you know, it's going to make it easier for me. He's a bloody easy boss. He's just... He's friends. Let's see, look. What's the point in it? You might as well just have just let him die. The chance of me losing now is perfectly low. What's this all about? What's this all about? Is it because I said the chance of me dying is perfectly low, so now you're punishing me? Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. Nothing more. You're set. Can't not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? Is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Return to Tears Travel Room. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is what I mentioned, I think, in the last video, or maybe the beginning of this video. 
but you don't want to cross this bridge because, uh, well, we can't cross the bridge at the moment anyway. It actually looks like it's broken. But uh, if you go over in that direction, that's pretty much where you won't be returning and you're going to be having a really bad time. So yeah, we definitely don't want to go over there. Especially if you're going to be seeing Zeus over there because I think if you watched my God of War 3 playthrough, if you haven't watched God of War 3, my playthrough, go and watch it. It, it was the only good playthrough I did in 2015. I mean, some of you might disagree and say I did many good playthroughs, but I had a really bad year that year, you know, and the only thing that really was good to me was my God of War 3 playthrough. But uh, I, I talked throughout that playthrough quite a lot. Oh, this might be a uh, Chaos Flame. Yeah, okay, so we can get our first upgrade for the Blades of Chaos. But I mentioned so many times about how hard the boss fight, what boss fight was with Zeus. Put it this way, the boss fight went on for two videos. <laughs> Actually, it might have been three. So yeah, it was, ugh, it was horrible, but I don't like Zeus, you know. He's my favourite boss of all time, just because of how much I hate him, you know. He's he's a great great villain, for one, and just how difficult he was on Titan mode. I think I even tried him on the even higher difficulty once, God mode, or whatever it was, and oh my god, I, I gave up. I gave up. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to the Tears Temple and then head off back to uh, Freya. Yeah. Shh. It ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he met those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Winds of Hell. Winds of Hell are very unstable and can only be held for 10 seconds before returning to the last wind trap. Right. So uh, this is what I mentioned in yesterday's video. This is how you can unlock all of these different, uh, all of these different um, puzzles. Oh, can you, can you shut up, Brock? I, I wonder that too. I also wonder why he has to talk when I want to talk. Do you notice how quickly he upgraded my Blades of Chaos? That was insane. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there's quite a few puzzles where you'll need to take this um, this wind from one side of the map to the other. There's quite a few. I think Midgar, I think Helheim might have one of the longest ones actually. Because you need to take that thingy. I thought they were baddies then. You need to take this all the way back to the beginning of the realm, you know, right the way back to when you're going back to Midgard, you know, so yeah, you, you definitely need to take it quite far. This is probably the longest one in the game, but there are a couple of other more annoying ones that you have to do. I mean, you don't have to do them, but like, there's normally some sort of hidden door. Also, if you want to know where, uh, obviously we can't do it now because we don't have a trail of us, but if you want to know where the hidden chamber and the Valkyrie of Helheim is, it's up there. Which I find funny because the Valkyries are missing from Helheim, and that is, uh, they're missing from their job, like sorting through the undead, you know. And one of them is in Helheim, so uh, it's a bit weird, isn't it? But yeah, yeah, never mind. I think what I'll do is I'll talk about all of the Valkyries when I do the uh, video where I face the Valkyrie boss, you know, like the main Valkyrie. Maybe I'll make a, a video talking about what's going on, you know. I know I could record each of the Valkyrie fights, but... It it, it, would, what would, it would require me to do a lot of upgrading and do a bunch of unnecessary stuff that I won't really record because it won't be fun stuff, you know, just to get enough good armor to be able to have a good chance of defeating them on challenging difficulty, you know. That's the main reason why I'm less inclined to do it, you know. Whereas the Valkyrie boss, I've already got a save file ready, so I can show you that. So we'll probably just do the Valkyrie boss and then um, the main Valkyrie boss and then uh, we'll talk about all of the story involving the Valkyries and that, and what's been going on in the game with them and that. Oh, careful, careful. The enemies in this place are like the most irritating things in the world. <laughs> I think what really makes it annoying is they look pretty similar to these things walking around, you know, but a bit more blue. So that's what makes it so annoying, fighting them. But yeah, now that we've got this heart of the bridge keeper, we can head back to Freya and she can cure. Zeus was your father? 
Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence then. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, we need to go back to Freya, give her the bridge keeper's heart, and then once we've done that, she will be able to cure Atreus. And then we can go back to Tyr's temple and we can get the ruin that we're missing. Because that was our mission before all of this happened. Oh. Well, the camera angle went a bit weird then. Can I take one of these with me? I've, I've not actually done this, I don't think. I mean, I know I've got to do it, but I don't think I've actually done it. Sometimes you have them in the middle just so you get a little break. Because you've only got 10 seconds to do this. I think the worst one... Oh shit, it's a traveller. It's a traveller enemy. Okay, I don't want to have that for now. I don't know if we could walk past him or if he would definitely attack me. I feel like I should kill him. Yeah, they give quite a bit of loot. I'm going to kill him. Probably not the best idea when I don't have a trance with me. Dodge, 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 dodge. Ha! Ah. Rage, 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 rage. Just going to use this to get a nice bit of damage on him and also heal up a little bit. I'm not sure why I'm not in full health. Oh, I took damage from those blue spirit things, didn't I? This one's not too bad, you know, because he doesn't have that shield on his back. The ones with the shields on their back are the worst. You just got to be careful with your dodges because they do different kinds of swipes, you know. And depending on how they swipe is how you've got to dodge. Like when they swing, when they do that uh, left-right swing, really you should be dodging backwards, you know. Whereas I keep like that, you should dodge backwards. But I keep on dodging sideways and then I end up rolling into it. They become so quick when they look quick, 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 I just want to uh, do this because if we do decide to buy the Traveller set... Oh, oh, good, there we go. We've got ourselves our first pommel for the Blades of uh, Chaos. Oh, we did have a basic one. Oh, there we go. It increases my strength by 10, my runic by 6, and my luck by 10. And it has a low activation chance to give me the gift of strength on any successful hit. That's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of um, perks I like, though. When they give you like a bonus to your strength. Also runic. You know that's a nice one as well. But yeah. Let's, uh, let's carry on. Do I, do I want to keep doing this? I'm going to leave that wind behind. I'm going to do it. Because if I come back here later. We'll have to do it again anyway. When I come back here with Atreus. If we, if we do come back and that. So I'll just leave it for now. And we'll do it another time. I'm probably going to end up dead I think. Because uh, obviously I, uh, <laughs> I screwed up a lot on that boss. A lot of flipping enemies in here, isn't there? Oh god, oh god, oh god, it's not No go! No 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 no, it's not going well. Now, sorry if you can furiously hear me tap the R1. <laughs> Sometimes I tap it too aggressively and it makes a lot of bloody noise, you know. It's very easy to edit it out of the videos. I wish it was that easy to edit out the noise of those stupid kids, you know. Because um there's something in Audacity, which I've checked, that you can actually remove... Oh no, I'm dead. I'm bloody dead. Can I leave them behind? Let's see if I can leave them behind. Oh god, there's even more! <laughs> but there is a thing inside Audacity that you can use to remove the noise of clicking. You know? So, um... The, uh, the good thing about that is uh, it also removes the noise of me tapping the DualShock 4, you know. So it, it doesn't work perfectly, but it does work pretty well, you know. So when I'm tapping like a son of a bitch, I can just use that uh, same thing to get rid of the noise. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to kill this. I feel like I'm not going to be able to open the door if I don't kill him. So I'm just going to kill him. Just because I don't want to get to the door and then it tells me I can't go through because enemies are nearby. So we're just going to kill him quickly. Oh, providing I don't die because I'm not sure where it's going to put me. Oh shit, there's even more. Oh no. Oh, uh, oh, run away, run away. Look for some health somewhere. There's got to be something hidden somewhere. Uh, there was a couple of vases around here, weren't there? 
Yeah, there's a vase here. Fingers crossed he's got health in it. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, gods. I mean, Kratos likes to moan about the gods, but thanks to the gods, I've got some health now. But this is where you're going to bring the wind to. You're going to place it there. Then from there, you're going to go down that um, that set of stairs over there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. I knew it was going to bloody happen. Ah. Oh, well. As long as it doesn't put me all the way back at the boss, which should be all right, which I don't think it will do. And it's going to respawn me with a, a whole set of health anyway, so it should be fine. Should be fine. Where's it, where's it put me? Where's this? Oh, yeah, that's that's all right, I suppose. But yeah, this is all right. I'm going to have to do some of it again. Look at that sneaky devil over there. Look at you hiding in the corner. Bloody arseholes. I'm trying to keep myself uh, out of the way of their stupid ranged attacks, because that's the thing that keeps doing the most damage to me when they throw those ice spikes at me. It's not very good. I've, I've never been uh, very lucky with icy spikes. I mean, another game that uh, I had a very bad day with with icy uh, shards or whatever they're called. What are they called? What are they called? I know I'm, I'm, calling them, I'm naming them wrong, aren't I? What are they called? What's, what's, the, what's the long pieces of ice called? I'm being a twat, and I'm being an absolute twat. But whatever they're called, I'm sure I will, will remember in a minute. <laughs> but uh, when you play Crash Bandicoot 2, there's a couple of snowy levels in that game. And um, when you have to go through the levels really quickly and like run across a load of ice, occasionally there's a couple of ice spikes uh, on the ceiling, you know, and they drop when you get near them. So then sometimes you're, when you're playing Crash Bandicoot, Crash will be on the ice and he will you'll try and stop him from running into these falling ice spikes and then uh, he will slide on the ice because you know it's icy and then he slides right underneath him and gets killed so I always have a pretty bad day with uh, the old ice spikes god what are they flipping called they've got a name haven't they or am I just being stupid I'm probably being stupid I do apologise it's hard to concentrate when I'm playing these games. Like, people like to mention in the comments when I miss things, but people need, need to remember that not only am I playing on nearly the top difficulty, I'm also having to commentate, you know, and unlike a lot of other YouTubers, I actually do commentate quite a lot on my videos and talk about a lot of things, you know. I could just sit here and not say a word. Literally, that is what a lot of these gaming YouTubers do, you know. You've got ones that are really cringy, that just constantly scream and like, Hi guys, yeah! Oh yeah, dude, bro, yeah! You've got ones like that. Then you've got the ones who just don't say a word, which are just lazy. And then you've got me, you know, I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm a little bit more mellow than screaming, but I'm also not lazy enough to say nothing, you know? So because of this, occasionally I will miss some things in these games, you know? Sometimes I miss very obvious things because I'm busy talking. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know, don't get too angry with me. Because it's not on purpose. Oh, lovely. Right, um, I think, I don't think we could fast travel because we're still technically, technically in Helheim. So if you try and use that teleport stone, that, uh, that gateway, the mystic gateway, it will only lead you to another mystic gateway within, um, within Helheim. So we're going to have to travel back to Midgard before we can fast travel. So let's, let's head back now. I'm not sure how long I've got. I mean, I think it's already been 30 minutes, but I'm going to head back to uh, Freya first and give her the um, thing. I finally understand. I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta. Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Have you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. <laughs> Kratos is a, a very stupid person sometimes, isn't he? A very stupid person. 
But yeah, uh, we'll head back to Freya. It's gonna it's gonna take a bit of time to get there unless I can fast travel, which I think I can. We'll give her the heart. We'll cure the boy, and then in the next video, I will um. I'll head back to Tears Temple to try and find that ruin that's going to lead us to Jotunheim. Hey, so you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Lovely. That's what I was going to say. I think I mentioned this quite a few videos back that eventually these portals do get improved. But yeah, uh, now we can fast travel between any. Cannot travel to this yet. Why not? <laughs> Guess I've got to come straight back here. Oh dear. An another, I think I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but another boss when I was talking about all of the really tall creatures, another one I'd like to battle was that turtle. I certainly know how to get around. The realm between realms. The world tree. Such a beautiful place, isn't it? I took quite a few screenshots in this place. I was surprised Mamir isn't talking to me, because when you do these fast travelling bits... Uh, normally Mimir will talk to Atreus or talk to Kratos about some stories, you know, and give you some lore and stuff. I've got to end this, I'm supposed to have already ended this video, but it's currently 9.59 and I wanted to end this by 10, because then it's very easy for me to watch the time and know when it's been 30 minutes. But no, <laughs> no, that doesn't, it's not going to work that way, is it? Oh well. Because I'm on a very strict time oh, schedule, like right. you already know. Yeah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. Can I go to her? Oh, okay. We can go to her door. Right. Let's speak to Freya and then I'll end it for today. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is too ill. I can break the fever, but to heal. He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. They won't happen again. 
I promise. You see that it does not. Okay, right. I'm going to end the video now, Wolf Morphets. So yeah, uh, Freya's just spoke about her having a son, so I guess that confirms what we mentioned quite a few videos ago. The boulder is probably her son. You know, because obviously we know Odin and Freya were together, and we know that boulder was her son. We know that boulder is Odin's son. You know, we know Thor had a different mum, so yeah. It looks like Freya is boulder's mum. So that's not good. That's going to cause some problems. This video is probably about 35, 40 minutes long. So yeah, I hope you enjoy an extra long video. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolves. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today. <laughs>